Hello guys, um, today I'll be um, taking us through how to make a flower vase and add um, a material to it. Um, I have downloaded this material um, to use for my flower vase. Uh, it's an African kind of design pattern. It is originated in Ghana, a country in Western Africa. And designs like this are known as kente. So if you... Um, Yeah, Kenti, there it is. So um, I got my, I got this one, and I said to use this part, this one for my design. So when you open Revit, um, click on New Families. You will select the right template that you desire to use for your um, project or whatever you maybe you wanna do. So since I wanna make a vase, I wanna choose va um, furniture for my vase. Um, let's wait for our Revit to finish opening so that we can start our project in our template. It's almost done. Well, I am using an HP MV, um, six generation for my, um, that's what I, that, that's kind of laptop I use, and sometimes it works perfectly well. But for some reason today, it's been awfully slow with the internet. Also, that I use here at my apartment complex. Um, okay, so the flowers is gonna be um, done in the front elevation. That's why I, I prefer to use. Um, yeah. Now here's my reference level. I will type ZE, that is zoom to fix, and that allows me to zoom in and out very well and uh, makes it accurate for me. It's a preference that I choose to use. Um, now, I will use the Revolve 2 right here in Create, Revolve. And I will select whatever it is that I, I want to use for my flower vase. So for my vase, I want to draw the bottom first and keep it at this angle. And then open it in like that. Draw it a little bit further inwards and bend it in. Yep. Oh, oopsie. Let's zoom in. Got it. So the next thing is I'm gonna use the this tool right here to get a vertical line in here, not too long, just five about five inches or so. Um, I want to have the top of it at an angle um, like that, and use the straight line just to draw the straight line right here. Next, at the bottom, I'm going to draw a straight line going upwards. I'm, I'll get rid of that later on. And select these. Copy it. And I want to move it from this point a little bit further forward, like two inches apart. And that can copy it, and then it gives you like a second layer of it. Um, Revit is going to give you a command that, hey, lines overlap. I'm going to get rid of those lines in a, in a sec. And those lines are just right here, and boom. Then the second part of it is also removed. So now we have a space here, and I'll just link those to that space up, and then that has been solved. The next thing to solve is the bottom here. Um, I will duplicate this curve right here, copy, hold it at the bottom, bring it up a little bit like two inches above, and trim everything together. So this to that, and then that to this. And now I have my flower vase ready. So the next thing you do is you go to the axis line. That's where it's going to cause the revolve to be fully completed. Click on the bottom, pull up at an angle of 90 degrees. Yes, that is done. The next thing you do is you hit the green button right here. And you have your vase. It's completed. Simple as that. 
So um, I'll show it to you in 3D view. There it is. I have my realistic, and there it is. So adding color to it. And if I turn around, it's going to, that's how it looks on the bottom too, and then in, on the inside. Okay. So there it is. Now I want to add material to make it make it look good. What if you want to do, you have to go to manage up here, then materials. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so now I want to create a new material. So create a new material, and um, I will just rename it. Um, let's say face oh face and that is done appearance you, cl you click on the appearance um, to you right here the tab right here um, select image and I'll just go straight to downloads wherever you have your image saved I have my saved in downloads so I'll go there for it and there it is my kente kente is the name of um the pattern that i chose um now how's it gonna look like I'm gonna see that in here it's updating just give it a sec and you see the view of it now here you go so that's how it's gonna look so um one thing you also can learn to do in revit is how to adjust your materials you can see that there's a break right here that does not make it seamless you know um you can you can click right here on the image and it's going to open a different um window a pop-up window just appear on the side and over there in here you can um adjust the way you want things to appear so you have your offset and then your size where you can adjust the width and the height of it um and whatever you do to it happens to the image in here so um, yeah you can just just play around with it a little bit depending on how you want it and i have allowed the Break here to repeat itself so people can see that. Oh, I don't know, whatever you choose to do. Um, a lot of things you can do, um, done, you can choose to do in here, you can choose to bump it, make it reflect, like, or whatever it is, glossiness, the image fade. And this is what I like for my um, material, so that's okay for me. To apply the material that we just made to the flowers, you click on modify and paint tool right here click on the paint tool choose the material that you want move on to your project and just um i'm gonna start this over again so yeah so paint choose and And if you turn around, you see it been done. So that did the inside. I'm, I'll get rid of that. We want to get this side of it. Oh, it took me out. It kicked me out of it. These are some of the things that you would experience using Revit. Yep, so now we have the material going all around it, and here you go, it's all done. So your vase is in here, oh, you can do the bottom also if you want, that's not difficult, just same thing, and that is done.
So the bottom is the whole exterior part of it is done and the inside is left um, like that. If you want to do the inside, you can apply the same thing on the insides of it. And that makes it as we have it. If you um, want to change the material, you can always change your material whenever you want. Um, it's pretty easy to do. It's not hard at all. And that is all, all you got to do is that that is it and that's what i have for you today thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments just send it to me bye for now